who loves fresh strawberries. Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. Today I'm showing you how quick and easy it is to whip up a little dessert pizza on your Blackstone. Before we get into that, be sure to go to that Blackstone product YouTube channel and click the subscribe button and click that bell. That way you guys don't miss any of these recipes. Now, let me show you how you guys can whip up a quick dessert pizza for your family and friends at home on your Blackstone. We're gonna start this recipe off making a whipped cream cheese topping as if it's the sauce for this dessert pizza. We're using one of my favorite ingredients. It's Baldosio's mascarpone or mascarpone cheese. It is so delicious. It's an Italian cream cheese. It's easy to find in most of your local grocery stores and you can use it in so many different recipes, which I will be sure to film some of those for you and show you how much I enjoy using this mascarpone cheese so that you guys can start enjoying it at home if you're not already. We'll start off with a large mixing bowl. To that, adding in some of our mascarpone cheese. Now I have a double sized container, so I only need about half of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of pure vanilla extract, sweeten it up a bit with some white sugar, and to thin it out a bit so that I can whip this up, I'm just gonna drizzle in a little bit of milk. Whisk that all together and it becomes so fluffy and airy. You could serve it just as is with some fresh fruit. However, today we're gonna slice up some fresh strawberries to prepare for this dessert pizza. Now, once they're sliced up, we're gonna slide them aside and jump over to a little chocolate sauce we need to make. In a small little pot I have on the Blackstone, I'm adding in two tablespoons of butter and two big heaping spoonfuls of hazelnut chocolate spread. Let's thin that out a bit with a little bit more of that milk that we have. Give it a mix together and it becomes so glossy and shiny. We're gonna keep this nice and warm over on the side of our Blackstone until we're ready to drizzle this at the end. Now back to our strawberries. Let's drop down two tablespoons of butter on our warm griddle, dropping down all those strawberries we sliced up. Give them a nice mix together. These strawberries are gonna become nice and soft and cook down a bit. As they're cooking, we're gonna sweeten them just a tad with a little bit of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. You could use regular sugar or dark brown sugar if you prefer. That just helps to sweeten these and to help create a nice sauce for these strawberries to top our pizza off with. These strawberries take no time at all. In just about five minutes, they are done to perfection. You could cook them longer or shorter depending on how you like your strawberry topping. Mine look perfect, so I'm gonna pull them off. And now let's just give our griddle a little scrape and clean. Since we used some brown sugar on the griddle, I like to use water at this point. Now I always say don't use water unless absolutely necessary. This would be one of those times because of the fact that we used that brown sugar. So using my favorite tool, the scraper, we're just gonna scrape everything off, let that water steam off that sugar, and our Blackstone is simply back to new. Once it's dried, we're gonna drizzle it down with a little bit of oil. Now our stone fire pizza crust. You guys know I love using stone fire crust for all things on the Blackstone. We start it off upside down. That way we can warm the top of our pizza crust since we are making a pizza on a griddle, which is not traditional, but it works absolutely perfect when you do it the right way. Once the top of that pizza is nice and crispy, we're gonna flip it over. And now I'm gonna sweeten this pizza crust with some white sugar some cinnamon, and some brown sugar. Now this in itself tastes just like fried dough. I absolutely love it. You could go and top it off with any kind of sweet toppings you like. As soon as the bottom of our pizza crust is to my liking, which would mean no flop. I like a pizza that's not floppy. I like it nice and crunchy. We're gonna pull this off and get ready to load it up with our toppings. We have our beautiful whipped mascarpone cheese. We're gonna spread that all around this pizza. Any extra mascarpone mixture you have, you could stick in your refrigerator. It's fabulous on bagels, or like I said, serve it up with some fresh fruit or cookies. Once that mascarpone is completely covered around that pizza, let's grab our strawberries that we cooked down and just put them all around this pizza. It's already looking beautiful. This is one of me and my daughter's absolute 
favorite treats. It's so easy, so simple, and you can make a bunch of these if you had a large crowd. Time to garnish the pizza. I love pairing fresh strawberries with a fresh herb like basil or mint. Today we're going with mint leaves that we just chiffonade. Sprinkle these all over the pizza. Now it's time to grab that beautiful glossy hazelnut chocolate sauce that we made. Drizzle it all over this pizza. Look how simple and fast that dessert pizza was to make. This thing is one of our favorite little treats. I hope you guys go try it or you zhuzh it up in your own way, adding your own touch to it. Be sure to post those pictures. And don't forget to go to that Blackstone Products YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. Go enjoy some dessert pizza.